of God invested in the purification of the soul to be made ready for the resurrection of the dead. Yet he was a creature confused by the conflicting pools between loving and dying, willful individualism and martyrdom. Still, he was a Catholic poet. His cross was not a plain cross, not a protest Protestant cross, stripped of the body of the sacrificed man-God. His cross bore Christ on it, and the body of Christ itself was his own heart. Quote, Wealth was neither a power nor a consolation. I could only exist through love, through religion, and through my faith in the future, love made me understand eternity. My heart and the Gospels marked out two worlds awaiting me. Night and day, I was plunged in the depths of infinite thoughts, which for me perhaps merged into one." End of quote. The unbelievably prolific outpouring found in some of the Dharma and in the numerous volumes of prose and of poetry written by Jack Kerouac testify to the poet's intense, constant grappling, weighing and balancing of the impenetrable complexities, engulfing vulnerabilities and insoluble demands that life made on his heart and mind when all that Jack Kerouac wanted was, quote, to be a quiet saint living in a shack in solitary meditation of universal mind, end of quote. To stand and remain alive in the midst of it all was a daily act of generosity and bravado. Writing was part of that gesture. The medley of words used by this poet were like an army he organized to help him think, argue, debate, judge, ponder, deliberate, meditate, contemplate, consider, ruminate, brood, recollect, visualize, dream, fantasize, and give, give, give all of himself away. But it was all too much for one man alone to keep. So, because of this, Jack Kerouac's friendships had the same necessity, intensity and meaning that they once had between men of ancient Greece. It is indeed a poet's fate and emotional struggle to have to suffer daily for sharing in the gods' fire, living the fate of Prometheus, who was punished by the gods for his daring. Prometheus was condemned to have his liver torn and eaten each day by an eagle, an eagle, a torment that was each day renewed since the liver grew back each night. While Jack Kerouac's friendships were central to his writing. One must also point out that these were friendships with writers. But while dialogue with his close friends were a constant live feed for him, the dialogue he entertained with dead writers and with future writers were also foremost to who he became and what use he made of his life. Writing was a way that Kerouac found to belong in the permissible dream that he called America. Jack's legacy to us 